Hello everyone on YouTube, this is Veratistic and we back with another video. Today I do have the uh, ZTE uh, Prestige. This is for Boost Mobile and I do have uh, the Google Bypass on this device. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to bypass the Google account on the ZTE Prestige. I just want to let you know that I'm not doing this to help people stealing phones. I always like pay attention for that point. Just help people they own phones, so and uh, they have that issue. So now go go ahead and go back, and I want you to forget the same uh, Wi-Fi. If you are connected to Wi-Fi, so please just be without Wi-Fi or any type of connection, and make sure to remove your SIM card as well. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just tap on the Wi-Fi without activating it, and you guys are gonna see here the microphone and, and the keyboard. Just go ahead, hit the microphone. That will tell you network is not available. So go ahead and hit OK. And then this time I want you to connect to the Wi-Fi. So go ahead and put the Wi-Fi password. And hit continue. When you get that point, go to the three dots in the top and go to advance. And then you will see this search icon. Go ahead and click on this one. First time you have to put G and then hit enter. Then go back, delete it, and then go back. And show you, then go to search. And you will see G is already saved. So hit on G. That will show you Google voice typing. This is very important. So guys have to do it the same way I did. The first time just type letter G and hit enter and go back and just press on the enter on the recent or on the G letter and should take you to voice typing. Now from voice typing over here. So you have to... Uh, Just let me show you where exactly you need to go. Text speech output. Oops, sorry about that. Then once text speech output, as you guys can see, you will see gear binds over here. And then you're gonna see install voice data. Go ahead and click on this one. And then go to the three dots on the top and open source license. And they will take you to this window. Just press and hold after it's highlight. Go to the search icon over here. And now you are in Google now. So now what you have to do, you have to type Chrome. And if you just take down the keyboard, let me do this again I just hit the wrong button over here okay now just go ahead and type Chrome now just take down the keyboard here we go so you need the Chrome this is important guys so go ahead to Chrome and hit accept and say next then say no thanks this is important and now they will take you to boost or whatever go ahead and search google so go to google.com we want you to go to the search engine over here now while you are in google you have technically to type on the keyboard quick shortcut maker go ahead and on search google search on chrome go ahead i would highly recommend this uh, website so go ahead and download it we need to download the APK file, quick shortcut maker, because this application will allow us to, there you go. So do you see this one? Click on this one. And then you will see another link, download APK. There you go. The phone is downloading right now. As you guys can see over here, it is downloading. Now what I want to ask you to do, go ahead and go back. Go to Google now. 
go back, go back, just do all the steps back. And now we back to Google now. In Google now, just type file manager and then just take the keyboard down. Go to file manager and go to download. You should have the same application we just have downloaded over here. Now they ask you to activate unknown source. So go ahead and have it unknown source. Go back and then reinstall that again. This time it's going to install. Except of course. This is going to make just a few seconds. Now from here I want you just to type. Go ahead pull the keyboard and type Google account manager if it's pop go ahead and we need we need technically this specifically type email and password go ahead click on this one and then hit on try now they will take you to this screen now click on the three dots on the top browse and sign in and OK now they will take you to add your Gmail account. This is very essential. Now for security reason, because I want to put the email, my email, not the one that I already have synced to that device. The one that I already synced to that device, technically I don't know what it is. So technically you have to log in with a different Gmail account. So if you don't have Gmail account, extra one, uh, let somebody else give you the username and a password or go ahead and create one. It's a free. So I'm going to use a different Gmail account I have. Just give me a second and then we going to log in. Now I have entered my uh, other Gmail account and a password. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Just say sign in. It will tell you it's going to take a moment. And that's it. Now what you have to do, you have to go ahead, restart your phone. Okay. Now we're going to restart the phone and then we're going to try to log in. Or we're going to boot up the system. And then this time it's not going to ask us to log in with the same Gmail account. It should tell us that the Gmail is already added to it. Okay, now very important to have the Wi Fi connected as well. This is in this process. Just let it till it finish, it could take about two minutes. In this step, you may have to be patient. Okay, so once you see software updates, and then look what we have over here. Account is added. Go ahead and hit next. And then I will tell you. I can just go ahead and skip this tutorial. Now technically I'm on uh I'm on the phone right now so it will tell you congratulation everything set up with this this step if I got this step or reach that point I would highly recommend to factory reset the phone so the phone is added they want to ask you and we'll see, do this next time. Okay, so now you have access to the phone, but the phone is 
already signed and with the same Gmail account you added. If you want to have the form be clear 100%, go to settings this time and just perform a regular factory reset. Now we're going to come back to you after we do the factory reset guys in order to make sure that the phone has a clean Google account and we have no problem. We'll come back. Now the phone has done a uh, factory reset. This time I'm not going to log in or sign in or use the Wi-Fi or sign in to Google account or anything like that. We're going to try just to skip the whole tutorial or the wizard over here. So skip anyways. And then as you guys can notice, the phone did not ask me for the previous Google account. That means that the phone is successfully bypassed the Google account. Then you receive congratulations. The phone has been successfully. You can just say no here. Or just say yes for now and it's okay. And then the phone is going to back. To normal that was very much it for that video i wish you guys find it helpful if you did find it helpful please don't forget to leave the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel uh, i'm so tired i'm doing this video at uh, uh during the night time and i'm so tired so but i wish that i uh help you to bypass the google account so share that video with your friends if you find it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in my next one.